I am your host, Jack Remington. We're back with another edition of Westgate Simulation. This is week eight's picks, NFLC in 2019. The good and the bad and the ugly. We're gonna start with the ugly. Last week, I got a little ahead of myself and I put out the video, do what I say, not as I do. Well, guess what? I deserve what I got when I went one win and four losses. I lost the very first three games, the Texans and the Lions and the Raiders. Of the Raiders, we, there was a 14-point swing. They were not gonna beat Aaron Rodgers with the perfect pass or rating but they could have covered the point spread. The Raiders have turned the corner, and we'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, I've got the one win we did have, we had the Saints plus the three and a half. When I reviewed the video, I didn't tell people, I didn't tell the customers to keep the video short, that I felt the wrong team was favored. Uh, my numbers had the New Orleans Saints favored by two and a half, even though Teddy Bridgewater's backup quarterback. He is unbeaten as the Saints backup quarterback. Drew Brees might play this week. He might play next week, no one's saying for sure. Sean Payton is a top five current NFL coach. He plays his cards close to the vest, which I don't blame him. We're also adding a new feature to the videos. We're having a, the look ahead betting lines. So you'll see on the graphic uh, what the look ahead is. And we'll, we may touch on that, we may not. But the one win, four losses, you can see what it did to our record. I went from first place to tied for fifth. There's, there's a thousand of us in their little informal bragging the rights thing and I went from first place to tie for fifth and I keep picking home dogs or not winning. Home underdogs are approximately 30% this year. That is the all time low and we'll talk about that in a bit as well. We're still at we're at 22 wins, 13 losses. There's only 200, 298 of us that are above either at or above 500. Everyone else is below 500 so we're, we're feeling pretty good about that. However, we cannot accept the one and four. That was the worst week we've had this year. That is no excuse. Let's get right to our picks this week. Game number one. I keep saying San Diego, forgive me. It's the Los Angeles Chargers at Chicago Bears. Bears are a home favorite. Our pick is we're going to take the Chargers plus the four points. We're getting a better offense. We got a ticked off coach. It is possible, like I said in the video, while we were going against the Chargers for a few weeks, we, we, we won going against them. We're going to go with them this time. We just think that we're getting the better coach, the better quarterback for sure. I have no faith in Trubisky. we got to try to get the teams that are going different directions. I know that the Chargers lost a couple and the Bears are reeling too, but bringing Trubisky back and the Chargers are getting, they're actually getting a couple of their defensive players back off the injury list. But I think the Chargers are a more desperate team. And I think Lynn is, uh, Anthony Lynn is the better coach. The Chargers were the most injured team in the NFL. Now all the other teams have kind of caught the Chargers in the Philadelphia Eagles. Pick number two. We're taking the Seattle Seahawks, minus six and a half, at the Atlanta Falcons. Okay, the Falcons are really reeling. They've lost with five in a row. Uh, Matty Ryan is, is actually on the injured list. He's, they're saying he's probable. He's not 100%. He wasn't 100% when they won their one game. I like Matty Ice. I think Matty Ice is a great quarterback, but the team is in disarray. They lost their receiver, Sanu, to the New England Patriots. They just keep retooling and refitting and retrofitting, and, and they just keep winning. Uh, the, most, the most hated team in the NFL is the New England Patriots. That's because they win too much. I don't agree with that, but all my associates and even the dogs don't like New England too much. But enough of that. And the Falcons are getting ready to want to buy. So they're just looking to get out of Dodge, take a breather, clear their heads. The coaching staff's probably sending out resumes. 
I think they're a little distracted. I think Russell Wilson, and right now I got him as the MVP in the NFL right now. He's the one-man wrecking crew for the Seattle Seahawks team, who is also rebuilding, especially on their defense. And then their offensive line is not that great. But Russell Wilson's a great player. He's, he's, he's not the strongest. He's not the biggest. He's not even really the fastest quarterback. I think the, the Baltimore's quarterback is actually faster. Uh, in some ways, he's better than when, when Michael Vick came on the scene with the Falcons. You put the, 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 the Chili Palmer, get shorty, the, the John Travolta in 1995 fame. You put the gun to my head, Mafia, Miami guy. I'm taking Russell Wilson as my, as my MVP. Sometimes you do your best work with a gun to your head. That's what Chili Palmer said in the movie. Seahawks are unbeaten on the road. They just got steamrolled at home by the Boston Ravens of the, the runaway truck team that's got this massive offensive lineman, and they got the best running game in football. So Falcons don't have that. And the Falcons have a worse defense than the Ravens do. I look for the Seattle to bounce back. They're fighting for their lives, trying to keep up with the 49ers. So we're looking for the Seahawks to we're gonna lay the chalk to six and a half and hope for the best. Game number three, okay, is the Houston Texans minus six and a half hosting the Oakland Raiders, okay? Oakland Raiders, this is their fifth road game in a row. They were designated the home team when they beat the Bears in London. To me, that doesn't really count. I mean, they still had to travel. They, they traveled a lot of miles. They got a little wear on them. The Texans just got smashed by the Colts at Indianapolis, that Texas home game. Texans are not a good home team for some reason. They're one of these teams that just don't play well at home. And, and you know, no one can put their finger, no one put the gun in your head, no one knows why. Uh, I know the Texans are a good team. But the Raiders, have t I keep saying this, and we're going to keep riding the Raiders. We lost them last week, uh, but they were playing a Green Bay team. The Raiders actually hit, have, have some success at the stadium you know, playing against Texas. We're getting six and a half points. John Gruden, he doesn't take losses well. He's not happy how his team played, on, especially on defense. I'm, I'm looking for uh, John Gruden to turn around again, and we're looking for a close game. Okay, the next game, okay, the, the game was a scratch. We were going to take the Carolina Panthers plus the five and a half against the 49ers. We scratched that game at the last minute with the five minutes ago. And when we go back up to the list, the Jacksonville Jaguars minus six. And they're home. And they're hosting the New York Jets. What I saw from the Jets last month, okay, I'm sitting at one and three. Okay, and the one win I had, I'm almost ashamed of taking the Saints. the easiest dog pick. I'm watching the scores. I'm watching the Saints rack up the points. Against the so-called vaunted Bears defense, the Jets got stomped, 33 to nothing. This great Sam Darnold, he's built like a linebacker, but he's pretending to be a quarterback. Four interceptions. He's seeing ghosts. They let him get mic'd up so people could hear him scrambling for his life against that New England retold defense. It's the number one defense in the NFL. The Jaguars don't have the number one defense, but they're not bad. I'm going to put them in the top ten in the NFL. Uh, they do got some pass rushers. As a matter of fact, they actually, the Jaguars actually have a better pass rush than New England has. And I'm looking for the Jets to be still in shell shock. This team is getting to nowhere. They're, I don't know how they beat Dallas when they did. And we had the Jets, too. They played over their heads when they beat the Cowboys. But they're not going to play over their heads at Jacksonville. Jacksonville needs a win to stay up with the other teams. Uh, they're a couple of games below 500. Uh, that's not making the general manager, Tom Coughlin, any happier. He's, I mean, he's going to be putting a needle to Coach Marone there. And uh, Coughlin has been known to run out of patience even more than, quicker than I am. If they lose to the Jets, uh, I look for, and save this video, if they lose this game, the Jaguars lose this game to the Jets, I look, look for Tom Coughlin to make the change. We're scratching the Panthers plus the five and a half. I know it's underdog. We like underdogs, but these favors, you can see the favors are going to start pounding these teams now. We're going to take the Jaguars, play in the six. Uh, pick number five, I know this is the one I'm getting some grief about. Now everybody now Green Bay is going to win the Super Bowl, and Aaron Rodgers this, and the rookie coach that, and the receivers this. And defense has been retold. But their run defense has been suspect at times. I know the Packers are 6-1 in the first place, uh, but they have Minnesota breathing on their back. Uh, and if Chicago writes their ship, they'll be breathing that on their back too. The Chiefs are at home. They don't have Patrick Mahomes. But they have a guy named Matt Moore as our backup quarterback, and uh, he came in last week and did okay. I think he's the best backup in football. The Chiefs still have some team speed. Green Bay's defense has problems with team speed players. I just don't see Kansas City losing three home games in a row, but they are playing Green Bay. Green Bay is great. I'm, I'm not knocking the Packers. 
Uh, everybody's jumping on the Packers. Well, no one's giving the Chiefs that. Their, their power rating on this covers.com, they were the number three team. They're getting the number 25 because of one player, Patrick Mahomes. That's a complete overreaction. We're going to recap really quick. We're taking the San Diego, the Los Angeles Chargers plus four. The Seahawks minus six and a half. That's one of our, our two favorites. The Open Raiders plus six and a half. The Jacksonville Jaguars minus six. And the Kansas City Chiefs plus four. So we have one home dog. So now let's let's talk about the board. Last week, underdogs, six was eight losses. That's the worst week for underdogs. So the favorites kicked them. Home teams, again, week seven, five home team wins, nine losses. Week four, they were 4-11. This is the second worst week. Item number three, the long run. I'm starting to pick up a lot of views. I've picked up some subscribers, and I intend to keep them. Okay, and I'm going to keep them by doing some better homework, making better picks. Now, when, when you see my picks this week, you know which team I'm taking. The Chargers, the Seahawks, the Raiders, the Jaguars, the Chiefs. Okay, these are teams I'm betting against. Okay, I'm betting against, okay, a real Chicago Bears team. One of the worst offenses in football. I'm betting against the Atlanta Falcons. They're just a disaster waiting to happen. It's, it's already a disaster. Lindbergh's on fire. And that Zeppelin's already hit the ground. The Raiders plus the six and a half. They're playing a good team. Deshaun Watson is great in his own right. I got him as my second best in MVP. You know, he's a one man wrecking crew, too. Uh, the JJ Watt's not doing much. I mean, the, the Texas defense is very inconsistent. The Raiders are showing me some consistency. So we're taking the healthier team, and you know, we're going against the Texans. They're not that good of a home cover team. We're just playing a number game. We're playing, you know, we're playing John Gruden, and Derek Carr's a great quarterback in his own right. Uh, look at the Jacksonville game. We're betting against the Jets. We got the Chicago's bottom tier, bottom half team now, and we got the Atlanta and the Jets. They're in the bottom four of the NFL. We got the Chiefs. That's the one game that we're kind of tickling the dragon's tail we're going against Green Bay. Now, we look at the games I had last week, okay? Um, I had the Texans going against the Colts, the underrated Colts. I mean, but I have no faith in the Colts. I'm not getting used to the Colts having a defense. The other games we had, Oakland against, going against Green Bay, going up against a great team. Uh, the Lions, they were going against Minnesota, another great team. I had the Jets, they were going against New England. I mean, look at the teams that I'm betting against this week. Atlanta, the Jets, the Texans, the, Bur and, and, and the Bears, versus the team I bet against last week, New England, Green Bay, Minnesota. I mean, a big difference. I'm very confident that you're not going to see one of the four this week. It could happen, but as you can see, every time we had a two or three week, I bounced four and one. But this is our bounce back week, okay? The long run game. There's plenty of handicappers you can see on YouTube besides me, and they, they got flashy studios, they dress well, they, they get their teeth whitened, all the good stuff, but they're actually good handicappers. Some of them have been doing this as long as I have. A couple of them have actually been doing it longer than I have. Uh, the guy named Dave Koken with Where's a Hat, older guy. He's got years, of, he's got decades of experience, and he came out last year, it might have been two years ago, he said, you know, he, he's going to drop soccer, he's going to drop horse racing, he's going to drop hockey. You know, he, he, he understands the specialization. Okay, for decades, I got made fun of because I only did the NFL. A couple of decades ago, I did college football, the NFL, and baseball playoffs. Okay, and, I had, and, I, and, and college basketball, the 64 bracket. And I had success with the college football bracket and success with the playoffs and baseball. I just, my heart wasn't in it. I just can't. It's too much. I do one sport, NFL. Got a lot of these guys. Fezzik, Steve Fezzik. Vegas runner, he, he's going by his other name now. He's on the way to talk with uh, Marco D'Angelo and uh, Kelly. The, she's a nice lady. I met these guys at the Hilton seven, eight years ago for a get-together. And I met a couple of guys that were running the... They had a little raffle that you could win some prizes. And my number came missed on both ends. So we get a free entry of 1500 worth 2000 <laughs> A guy with a number above me won, and this girl below me won. 
but we're stuck in the middle, didn't get it, but that's okay. So Mr. Breeding and a couple other people I met there, very professional, very nice guys. They're good handicappers. Steven Over, I've seen him go on a run, and I've seen him pick 18 in a row, correct, in the NFL. Vegas Runner, I've seen him pick 16 in a row, correct. Uh, R.J. Bell, I've seen him get on, get on there with a... He was last second replacement for his own show, and he goes, I want you to take a big blade of chalk. The New Orleans Saints won at seven and a half against the Broncos. <laughs> well, against the Broncos and Peyton Manning, but he knew Manning was, wasn't right. And the, the Saints destroyed him, what, 45 to 13 or something like that? You know, I mean, these guys, they can, they can pick spots. These guys know what to look for. And Vegas Runner said something very interesting on his talk for this week. We give you the information on who we like, and we're doing a lot of the work for you, okay? You have to decide as a viewer, as a handicapper, as a sports book better. You want to beat the NFL. Is the guy right about his pick with the Chargers plus four? And uh, they're at Chicago Bears. Well, the Bears are home. You know, you may not like that. You may not like that pick. Then don't play the game. I'm going to defend Vegas runner right here and right now. So everything he said it was spot on. And he was being very forthright, 100% honest, not 90% honest, not 80% honest. He was 100% right. We were doing the work for you. And if you have faith in us, you got to stick with us because in the long run, okay, all these guys, Marco D'Angelo, Vegas Runner, Stephen, Stephen Over, David Koken, Teddy Covers, uh, Mark Lawrence. He won the contest many, many years ago when the Cedar Palace used to put, put it in the big marquee for, for you. My mother lived in Vegas for 41 years. She drove, look, I said, that could be you up there. You know, I never forgot that. These guys are, Phil Steele had to have publications ever come out. These guys are good. In the long run, every one of these guys are going to pick more winners than losers. you got to just pick your spots. That's why they tell you, keep the units the same. 3,000 units, starting with 100 units. I'll put the three, I'm going to put I'm going to put it all in one game. And you're going to lose that game. What, what have you got? It means all the effort you've had for the other eight weeks is gone. And I used to do stuff like that. I've done it several times. So it's on me. If you do it, it's on you. So we do the work for you in the long run. Okay, win some, lose some, but win overall. If you can find guys like that, they're gold. You want to beat your local bookmaker? Okay, make him, force him to drop you. Okay, that, you wear that badge with honor. But everything I do is legit. It's for entertainment only. And when I go to Vegas, I go every week. I may get a proxy, and he got sick. Hey, uh, I, I can't make it, my, and my, my son-in-law can't make it. Well, I hopped on the plane and went up there and took care of myself. That's how you do that. So you got to be prepared to do that in this business. These guys are going to pick far more winners than there are losers. Because if they, if they keep picking losers, they're going to have to drop out. Dave Koch and I had to get, tip my hat off to him. He goes, you know, I, I stopped going over unders because I'm not really good at it. I mean, that took guts for him to say that on, on a podcast. That, that took guts. And he's telling people that's buying subscriptions, telling people that's spending a little bit of money on them, that, hey, don't, don't take my over and I'm not good at it. But he's deadly on the sides. I mean, uh, he's got my attention. It seems tasteless. I'm talking about other handicappers on YouTube and on, on pregame.com or whatever. But it needs to be mentioned that you know, we're doing the work for you, but take some responsibility. The number one skill, okay, and they'll all tell you this, Money management. I don't care how many games you can pick. If you can't manage your money, you can't win. If you can pick 85%, you're going to go broke. Money management is the tool if you want to beat your bookie, beat the casinos. And I'm going to tell you something else while I'm talking about casinos. Casinos don't make mistakes, or they make very little, they make very few mistakes. Now, that's, why I like, that's why I love the half times. They don't have time to sit here and think, Oh, well, how, how's the lineman, how, how many times he get beat in the, in the second half of his game? They don't have time to go back on all that. The, the bookmaker's job is not to pick the winner. The bookmaker's job is to balance the action. They, they have to protect themselves. They're, they're not there to lose. They're there to win. Those glittering lights, and I'm going to put it right, if I can remember, on those uh, the Vegas lights, as they call them, they didn't get built by people beating them. They got built by people losing to them. So you need to understand that. Yes, I feel guilty for my one in the four week. Yeah, I feel terrible for a wonderful weekend, and I apologize. And I, I got what I deserve with my do what I say now that I do video. It made me look like a hot shot, and I got criticized for that. And my wife, who does not gamble, you're making a mistake here with your uh, do what I say now as I do. And you know what? She was right again. Let's go to item number four, experience. 